Hi guys, it's Tuesday morning. No, it isn't. It's Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> For some reason, I still thought that was morning until I just now looked up at the clock. It's uh, definitely afternoon. Anyway, uh, chair's gone. That's being collected this afternoon, so I've put it outside the front door for now, and I'll take it downstairs later. Uh, I've got two of these tabletops now. I've got another one hidden under here. One there, one there, and then a second. Is that going to help? Yeah, see, not too. And then I've got the coffee table under there, so I've got to take the old top off the coffee table later, put this one, the bottom one, on that frame. And then I've got this top to go on this metal frame to go in this gap. I think it's going to come to sort of about here, but well. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, I was going to make a wooden frame for it, but I was sitting Saturday, I was sitting up here, and I was just thinking, you know, no, sorry, Sunday, I was sitting up here. Uh, I forgot, I went to Mum's yesterday, not Sunday. But I was sitting up here anyway, and I was thinking, you know, instead of making a wooden frame, why don't I just go down to that skip and rescue the metal frame for it for the table and just cut a few inches off the legs which is exactly what I did so I took these to mum's yesterday and my stepdad ran the angle grinder through them and cut them down for me so what I've got to do is put the table back together we did make one boo-boo <laughs> I didn't notice either so I'm just as much to blame um, you've got these holes in the end there for the fixing bolt to go through there's like a little threaded metal plate that goes down there and it will just sort of pulls everything together but we cut that end off one of the legs I think yeah it was this one because there's the rubber foot so I'm gonna have to bash that in or something so it sits level so we had to um, mark and re-drill a hole <laughs> um, a little bit of extra work there but it, it didn't it weren't too awkward. A bit awkward because it was on that corner bit and not on a flat surface. But once that got going, it was okay. Right, lay these on here. Oh. Uh, but before I actually do the table, I need access to the shelf because um, I've got some floodlights. This is exactly what I was looking for in here, or for in here, and the shed actually, because these are 12 volt floodlights, 12 to 24 volt. I was just going to literally just screw them up under here. Um, I'm going to power one up just to see, you know, what the light output is like on them. Uh, so I'll get a power supply and I'll reuse one of the screw holes on here just to hold that up there and I'll just roughly power this up because I just want to know if I need one or two. I think I'm just going to need the one to be honest. 10 watt floodlight. But um, yeah, my stepdad bought these ages ago when he was making, when well, he still does make them, he makes them to order, um, his um, algae scrubbers for marine fish tanks. And of course in the scrubber you need lights to encourage the algae to grow in the scrubber so it doesn't grow in the fish tank, in the main tank. That's the idea of an algae scrubber but um, he didn't use these in the end because someone suggested using um, red and blue LEDs. Apparently they work better at um, encouraging um, algae to grow. So he went onto those on little um, strips about that long so uh, these have just been sitting in the workshop I totally forgot he had these to be honest otherwise I didn't even ask for them I was just this one was out of the box and uh, I was just looking at this on the shelf and he just said if you you can have them if you want them I don't need them anymore so I thought oh cool I've got some 12 volt floodlights so I'm 
they've got to go up. And obviously I want to put them up first before I put the table in because I need the access to the shelf. I can just pull the tables out, but I'd rather do this first. It wouldn't make much difference if I just pull the tables out because I haven't got nothing built on them yet. That's the key word, yet. <laughs> right. Check that down there. This is all the brackets and whatnot. As you can see, there's a uh, this little thing here with the two little ears that go on either side of the top square frame, and then basically that bit of metal goes inside the leg, and that bolt pulls it all together and holds it all together. So uh, I've got that lovely fiddly job to do later. So what do I need to do? I need to unplug. I can just reach the plug. Eey! Gently move the cable from behind my Lego models. So that's unplugged. Got that connection box there. See, I've got a couple of ways I can do this. I can use this switch so I can wire it so I can have one or the other or both floodlights on or I can just put a single one of these on because I'm going to stick it on the end here uh, you know and just um, have both lights go on and off at the same time but uh, the reason I was considering this one is because if I'm only modelling at one end of the table I'll only really need one on <laughs> so I am tempted it's going to be well it's not that much extra wiring I suppose I may have to just nip across to the hardware store and uh, get some small cable clips because I'll just need a, a couple just to run up the wall to the shelf that's all oh I didn't realise that was still hanging under there thought I took them all off. That was back when I had my um, barricade lamps hanging under here before I decided to um, make the lounge the Lego room. I do wish I had a bigger room to be honest. Right, so another thing I've got to do is uh, remember how to get the bloody bulbs out of this. Um, I've got to get the bulbs out to get the bloody screws out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Come on, you son of a bitch. Sure, one of. Uh. Okay, I'm going to have to turn the camera off to fight with that. That one's going to be a piece of piss. But, uh,. I'm going to use for the power supply. Should be adequate enough if I can find it. I think I buried it in here somewhere. Ooh. Will I bury it down here? Don't matter because I'm going to get another one. But I know somewhere in here I've got a PC power supply. I was using to actually run one of those um, CCTV cameras. So it's all set up for the task. I can't find it now. It probably is buried. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right there. That's what I'm going to use. You see, it's already got the switch on it to switch the supply on and off. I didn't touch it. <laughs> So, you know, I've already done that mod on it. All I've got to do is connect wires to the... Or take that 12 volt supply up to the switch. And possibly extend that switch so I can get to it. <laughs> so there's the power supply. I think I will go for the um, double switch got a box. I don't know if I've got any screws for it though. 
We've got some extra long screws, but I don't want the extra long screws. I've got all that wire down there, so that's not an issue. Plenty of wire. That's just the um, cable clips I'm in need of. Right. I'm going to uh, turn the camera off and uh, get some work done. Start this end, I think. So, I'm going to go and fight with the light. Right, and I've been a busy chappy. There's a bunch of wire hanging down there. I've got to sort out next, and that's actually the last job to do. Ooh! Got that one up. Got that one up. Yep. I've got the wiring into there. I've got the power supply under there. What I've got to do is plug the cable into the power supply. Uh, that's just moving on to swapping this top over. So I've got the coffee table all emptied. Because I had to move it out anyway. So, yeah, it looks a little bit of a mess in here. For, but, well, at least for now. Hopefully not for much longer. <laughs> yeah, that's all wired in. Almost ready. I've just got the switch end to do. Now, I did go across to the hardware store to see if they had a triple one of these instead of a double. Because I sort of realised I needed a third switch to actually turn the power supply on. Because I'm using a computer power supply. So, uh... <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hot glue this switch to the side of the switch on there, just like that, and just connect the two wires there, the green and the black. So if you don't know which two wires to um, use to switch a computer ATX power supply on without using a motherboard, and just using one of these, it's just the green wire from the main 20 or 24 pin connector and just basically short to one of the ground wires which is a black wire <coughs> so I've got all that in ready all I've got to do is wire it up <laughs> so I need a switch I need this because uh, I've got to put the neutrals into something so I need that got me jumper wire across there to go across the two commons oh. so I need a switch connect the block there's the power supply all under there so ah yes and I've got to find a couple of screws to put in there as well uh, and I better hoik these chairs down the stairs, actually, ready to be collected. Um, I'll get this switch done, then I'll do that. Uh, do I need anything else? My wire snips. <coughs> Screwdriver. I may need a lamp. Where's my lamp gone? There you go, light boy. Well, I did have. <laughs> Can't remember who done that song. No, there you go, light boy. There you go, light. <laughs> I'll do. <laughs> Just use that. Oh, there it is. It's down there. Right. Getting somewhere. Why's my coat in the middle of the hall floor? Not a clue. I swear I hung it up, so it must have fell off the hook. <coughs> right. It's the shorter of the two tables here that's got to go on there. So that board's got to come off. And I might see about sneaking it into the skip outside. <laughs> Uh, still there, I thought that was would have been collected today, as it's full. 
But uh, never mind. Right. Let's get this switch wired up, shall we, so we can give it all a test while. Well, I did have a part three and a part four. In fact, I just went to put all clips for this video onto the PC, but only two of the four clips actually worked. For some reason, uh, number three and number four corrupted. And this camera's got a fucking habit of doing that. That pisses me off. So, I've lost two bits of footage. Anyway, I can show you the finished product, if you will. I've got the tables in and done. I don't actually think I've got these legs fully square on this table, but I don't give a monkey's. It's only got to hold the bloody table up, hasn't it? I've got that one done. Um, floodlights are all wired in. I do need... Not right this minute, but I might do it tomorrow. I just need to put a third one up there. Because uh, I've got a bit of a dark spot in the middle. Uh, and I'm not sure if I'm going to wire it to that one. Which means I could just tap into that wire running on the wall. Or I could just run a separate wire and have it tapped into this one. It don't matter. It's, you know, it's going to be just as easy or just as hard to do it with either one so anywho there's the switch I had to go to Roy's in town to get a couple of screws because the ones I got are far too long so they'd have bumped against that so I needed shorter ones and I've hot glued this switch here so this one turns on the ATX power supply this one does the one closest to me and the right one does the one furthest away Bob's your uncle really simple <laughs> ah that one I think that one still needs to be tilted away from the wall a little oh well turn it all off because uh, I got to do the demo for the Lego channel as well. Right. So, yeah, that's it. When I went to Roy's, I went to Lidl's as well to um, just get a couple of bottles of cola as I'm out. Well, that's all I've got left. <laughs> what's in the bottom of that bottle and what's in the glass. And uh, went to Lidl's first, then went round to Roy's, and I was leaving Roy's to actually go and get some chips because I fancied some chips for dinner. And I was actually riding on the pavement. I shouldn't have been. Not me. Anyway, <laughs> went down the curb and my front wheel rim bottomed out on the um, road surface. And uh, I don't know where I got the puncture. I believe it was between Roy. Well, between here and Little, most likely. Or it could have been when I just pretty much cycled from Lidl's to Roy's in a U-turn they've got hand railings outside Roy's so you can't just cross from Lidl's to Roy's <laughs> um, and got a puncture in the front wheel of my hybrid bike uh, I did manage to limp at home with um, a front tyre that was rapidly deflating um, I actually didn't know that was when I got the puncture um, until I got back and I swapped it for the um, Schwinn because that's the easiest one to get to at the minute and when I put the bike, the Claude hybrid back in the shed I could hear air leaking out of the tyre quite rapidly so that was a good hint that I'd got it when I'd either gone from here to Lidl or Lidl to Roy's Never mind, that's just another puncture to fix. I hate doing punctures though. <laughs> I do hope this fucking video works. I don't want to go through all this again. Uh, this is why I really hate this poxy camera. 
It's just cheap shit. If you want to make get video, uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll try again. If you want to make videos like I do, get something decent. That's why I want to get a battery for that epoxy. Um, VHS one or whatever it is, DGA. I can't remember because it might be old and I might get and the footage might go onto a tape. But it's a darn sight better than this heap of thin crap. <sighs> Never mind. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to connect up those speakers I got. I might as well go show you those actually. The one down there, which I'll move later might have a little bit of a tidy up in here just a general tidy up in here put my glue gun back in there then I can put that back up there then I can actually stack speakers in there <laughs> um, out of the way my Sony's I'm so ticked off that that does not like my Sony speakers there's nothing wrong with the Sony speakers it's just that thing doesn't like them uh, but I've got these ones that are in the workshop. Where's my light? There's my light. Fidelity brand. I actually thought these were plastic case. I thought this was plastic, but it's not. It is very thin wood. I've got no idea what the impedance is on these. It doesn't say. But this speaker is actually a bigger than the ones up there. Then it's got this little tweeter as well. So I'm hoping yeah, the sound is going to be a lot better. And I'm hoping it's going to go in that gap. I'm not so sure it will. <laughs> if it does, it's going to be a tight squeeze. So um, if I can just clear this area here so I can actually roll the bicycle out of the way, then I can check the speakers tonight. Uh... And then I've just got this lot in there. And you probably do not know how tempted I am just to pick most of that lot up and throw it in the bin. I've got a CRT monitor to come back through here and to go up there. I've got that black and silver monitor to go in there to replace that one. And that one I'm going to be keeping as a spare. So that will be sitting where the CRT currently is sitting in the kitchen. Uh, well, I say using it as a spare. That will be my um, monitor to use when I'm playing around with computers. Uh, turn that off, can't we? So, I've got that board to get rid of. You don't know how tempted I am just to take this downstairs and chuck it on that friggin' skip outside. <clears throat> I can't sit it at the end of the block anymore because Victory Housing are getting really ticked off with us doing that. <laughs> Even though we pay a service charge and whatnot, you know, for grounds clearance and maintenance and whatnot on the building, they still get ticked off at us for doing that. And they would they actually threatened to um <coughs> raise the um service charge if we kept it up. Mind you, that wouldn't really bothered me if I knew that we could put rubbish like that out there and it got collected. Because I don't drive, so that wouldn't that would personally make my life a lot easier. <coughs> Right. Get rid of those files. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've got three floodlights left. One is definitely going in the shed, and I'll do that probably tomorrow. 
it's just a matter of sticking a couple of screws in the handle and screwing it above the door so it points in the shed and uh, rerouting the existing wire basically <laughs> piss easy uh, I might take the outside one down because I'm not I'm not um, using the outside light so it doesn't need to be there so I'll probably take that down as well but a 10 watt LED versus a 16 watt fluorescent light because it's got two 8 watt tubes in it hmm, LED will probably make that battery last a darn sight longer it for this video so uh, thanks for watching I'm not sure what I'm going to be up to tomorrow not yet uh, I can't do anything with the Lego town because I haven't got the bits yet but uh, there weren't no point buying the bits to expand the town before I was able to expand the table so the table had to come first <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you all at some point tomorrow. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. We'll just have to wait and see. So, uh, adios amigos.